All right, guys, I got a really exciting theater project for you today that we're doing out here in McKinney, Texas. We're gonna be doing a KEF 7.1 surround sound system, that's Dolby Digital. And in addition to that, we're gonna be doing a Sony 295 onto a Screen Innovations Slate 1.2 screen. Um, this is a very common configuration that we've been doing a lot recently. This particular home is pre-wired, so what we're gonna do is bring in our products. I'm gonna give you a little recap of what we're gonna be doing today in the theater room, and then we'll get this party started. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, we just got everything up here. This is the room that we're gonna be working with, guys. Uh, you can see this is pretty typical for the North Dallas area. We got pre-wired 7.1, and we're gonna be utilizing the wiring exactly as it is. Um, customer is going to be putting the 120 inch screen right here at the front of the room. And then you can see we have terminations for the front left and front right, which we're gonna be pulling down because we're gonna be using the KEF, the Q750 for left and right. We're also gonna be using the KEF Q650 as our center. We're gonna be using the KEF Cube 12. As our subwoofer. And then we're gonna be using these cute little guys, little, little CIs for our surround effects. All four. And we're gonna be using for our projection, the VPL VW 295. This is a hot, hot, hot projector. Integra 3.2, it's a nine channel, so he can't upgrade in the future. So uh, basically I'm just gonna start by getting everything marked out, making sure that everything is going to work as expected. And you can see behind me, uh, Grayson is working on getting our cutouts put into place for these in ceilings, which are gonna go right where these plates are. It's pretty simple. Basically, you're gonna pop out the box, which is nailed into the stud, and then we're just gonna cut with a sheetrock saw a little bit bigger, connect our speaker wires, and insert the speaker into the hole. Um, we will continue to update you guys as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. God, these speakers are just adorable. I know. <laughs> Terminal, fully enclosed. Top of the line. Top of the line, impressive technology. All right guys, well, we already popped our first speaker in. You can see it looks pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is not because of us. You can see this builder got a little wild whenever they were cutting the sheetrock and they just filled all the gaps with um, putty or silicone. And this one, like the beams right here, it was cut like that at an angle. So there's not a whole lot you can do whenever the sheetrock isn't going past the beam. We're gonna do our best on these ones as well, but we just discussed with the homeowner, you know, what needs to be done. And he's gonna send, or either he'll use his guy or I got a sheetrock guy and come out here and touch that up for him. Uh, but. In this situation, you know, all we can do is just butt that speaker completely flush up against the stud and pass that, get a little sheetrock filler. But we're gonna go around and get all of these in ceilings popped into place. All right, guys, we're moving right along. Uh, you can see Grayson got all of our in ceiling speakers popped in behind me. Uh, the customer is gonna have to do a little touch up uh, just on the edges there where the builder didn't cut perfect on the corners. Plus, that's a really small speaker, so even with it butted all the way against the stud, it's just it's a little tough with a single gang box to make the cutout completely flush. But anyways, um, so that part of the installation is done and I did a unboxing video of the KEF uh, Q750 and 650C towers as well as the center speaker, which are behind me. 
if you guys are interested in an in-depth look into that product, make sure to check out those videos as well. Uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll keep uploading as we have time to, to get those videos on. But you can see these are the uh, speakers, the 750s here and the 650C. I'm gonna show you a little up close look of these products and then I'll show you what Grayson's doing over here behind me. These are our tower speakers. We're we'll gonna be using these for our front left and right. You guys can see Grayson is over here at the front of the room working on getting our wiring pulled down the wall. What we're gonna be doing is pulling the wiring from up top down to the bottom where the speaker is gonna sit on both sides. zero edge or fixed frame and then they'll also tell me if they want on wall speakers or floor standing speakers or in wall speakers and then give me a budget and I'll put together an option for you that is a good deal um, as well as fits your wings design so that's where you would need to send me over some pictures so that we can recommend the correct equipment for the correct placement. All right, we are moving right along. Grayson is going beast mode right now, basically doing everything on his own because you guys are putting in so many orders with me. But we have the projector up, it's looking really sharp and has everything concealed nice and clean. You can see all the wires nice and tidy. And now Grayson's working on getting the wiring over here. Ran from down below where it was pre-wired. See, so just drilled a hole up through the cabinet here. And the wiring will go right into our amp. Everything at the front of the room is already hooked up as well. He got all the wiring moved down the wall and all the locations. And the next thing we're gonna do is just get the amplifier connected and the screen put together. All right, we're moving right along in this install. Next thing we're gonna do is get this screen unboxed. This is the 120 inch zero edge slate 1.2 gain. Um, and I believe this one does have the backlit LED kit on it. So we're gonna get it unboxed, laid out, and get the whole thing put together. For you guys doing it at home, this is for you. We appreciate your orders. We'll uh, show you exactly how this thing's put together. All right, here's everything that is included. We have a remote for the IR, little gloves, a SI badge, as well as all of our brackets, inner and outer brackets. There's a total of eight, and there should be. And there are. So you have four skinny ones. And four fat ones. These are for the inner, these are for the outer. And then you have little brackets to mount it to the ceiling, or mount it to the wall. All the screws and hardware is included. Alrighty guys, once you get all your four corners put in, the small bracket here, the large bracket here, and everything's sitting nice and square, um, you can go ahead and start tightening down these little Allen keys to secure it in place. You may want to kind of hold the frame together as you're doing so, just because you want everything to stay nice and tight and square. And you're just going to go around and do that to all 
four sides. It helps if you have a second person, make it go a little bit faster. We're just gonna go around and we're gonna do this all the way around. All right, so the next thing is after Get your reps in. Yeah, uh, anyways, next we're going to roll the screen fabric out. Once you have it rolled out like this, the next step is going to be to move all of your little buttons into the appropriate location that lined up with the buttons on the screen. So Grayson, we're gonna go ahead and do that. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be tensioning this screen fabric onto the frame. You're gonna start with the corners and work your way in. Yes, I read the instructions. I know, I told him to read them eventually. So that's what we're gonna do. So today we're going to start from the corners Go ahead. Here's a little pointer guys that we've learned after doing a few of these. After you get this screen fabric stretched around, stand it up, take a look at it because like sometimes the edges right here will actually crease up um, depending on you know how it was stretched and we always just like to set it up and just make sure everything is nice and flat. You can see right here where this corner had a little crease in it and I had to work that out. Um, Grayson's side was perfect because you know it's always perfect <laughs> yeah essentially anyways um this is just a little helpful tip tip this is just a little <laughs> helpful tip from your boys at dream media okay so we just went around and made all of the corners nice and tight all right guys the next thing is the led kit they both come out of right here make sure your leds are all the way up in there uh, and so that there's no separation in between Next thing you want to do is just get them stretched all the way around you want it completely in that groove That'll make sure that even with the adhesive on there the pressure of being in there will keep it from never falling out I've seen guys where they just stick it, you know barely in there and not fully seated and then the LEDs fall off So make sure you get it fully seated up in there just like this and do this at the corner too yeah, and giving it a little pop in that corner helps give the LED the spread even all the way out that way. Just a little pro tip. Next thing is cutting the RGB strip. Make sure you cut right on the copper line, guys. If you don't, your LED kit is not going to work. <laughs> Boom. Shaka laga. And then you're going to want to overlap the other LED kit and do the same thing. It overlaps pretty good now. Pretty much perfect. Oh, mm, look at that. Boom. All right, so we have assembled our screen and now Grayson is mounting into the stud our brackets, which the screen will hang on. And it just hangs on there like a hook. You basically hook it right in between here and here. So he's going to put one there and one over here where the other stud is. Okay guys, so the screen's looking great. Next step is aligning our projector. You can see Grayson has the level up there on top of the projector. The first step is making sure the projector is level front to back. It's very important and that the top of the projector is meeting the top of the screen. Once you've done that, power it up and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so Grayson just finished calibrating the projector. The key thing was getting the projector level front to back that way. Then what you do is get your uh, top of the lines level across the top and then you move it basically either to the left or to the right. If you're high on the 
right, you move it to further to the right. If you're high on the left, you move it further to the left until you get a square image. And then you just zoom in and out until your bars line up perfect like this. Grayson did a really nice job. Every single side is lining up right on the line. This over here is for Cinescope 235.1. We're doing 16.9. And you can see the focus is right in line. I mean, that thing is looking super sharp. So we'll uh, keep moving along with this install. Everything's looking really good. Uh, it just kept saying searching. Pretty impressive. You should be able to turn it up on your phone as well. Yep. Uh, you don't have to do all that even. If you're in activities and you're on the movie, right there, volume up. Franny? Oh, you can use the phone. Uh, oh, the phone's like side. That's cool. It's even better. And reveal new wildlife dramas. <laughs> to explore the greatest treasures of our living planet. I know. The other thing is, like, some of these, they have little screens like this. If you look oh from this angle, they call them off-access. Yeah. You can barely see your image. The uh, they have a pretty good off-access viewing angle. To survive the newest habitat <laughs> on Earth. This is Planet Earth 2. All right, guys, we're all wrapped up here. This system turned out awesome. I mean, aesthetically, it looks sweet. I haven't done Kef in a while, so it's really nice to be able to work with Kef again. The uh, dialogue and the clarity of the audio was just crystal clear. Um, I'm not sure how it'll come out in the demo, but the customers are absolutely thrilled, which makes me extremely happy. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I did here today. All right, so you can see here at the front of the room, we have our KEF Q series towers and center speaker. We have our SI Zero Edge Pro slate. I mean, look at how beautiful that image is. Note the number right there. Give us a call. And this has the backlit LED kit on it. Zero Edge. This is all the rave right now. Super cool. Now, uh, we're using a Sony 295. This is the first uh, projector that is a reasonable price point that has native 4K. It's got a 5,000 MSRP on it. Very affordable projector, beautiful output. I mean, the, it, just look at the demo. I mean, it, it turned out sweet. I use this projector with this screen all the time and I'm always really thrilled with the performance. Um, we have a couple very small um, KEF in ceilings and we're also gonna be coming back in the future to put in rears. But this is what it was pre-wired for, and even with the pre-wired locations, it, it, it turned out really nice. Customers happy, and we got a 12-inch uh, a KEF sub over here with a wireless sub kit on it over here in the corner. No complaints here. All the equipment's terminating over here. And we got an Integra powering it up. We got a Watt box surge protector down there. Sure, if you guys can see down there, everything's hidden behind closed doors. We have a 
Harmony Remote. It says his activity is lined out on it. He just hits one button and it turns everything on. It turns it all to the right input. You can also function everything from the phone, iPad, iPhone. It could be an Android. It, it doesn't matter. The Harmony works with everything. It's really affordable too. All right, well, that's pretty much an overview of what we did here today. I hope you guys found the video informative and helps you make a buying decision when you're looking to outfit your theater room. If you would like to purchase any of the equipment used in this particular theater room or any other uh, home theater equipment, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a email or a text, and we'd be happy to ship these products nationwide with free shipping and we also have a low price guarantee. Now, if you're in Dallas, Give me a call because I'd be happy to come and do the installation for you guys and still offer those amazing great prices. Now if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching. Yeah.